I'm at one of New York's busy airports to try out the latest app on my phone. A friend of mine is on their way to China. I've just dropped them off. And I can track their progress with this amazing app on my cell phone. It shows me the flight number, the aircraft type, the height, the speed, the location, all the way to Shanghai. I can't show you their flight because it hasn't taken off yet, but here's one recorded earlier heading to Shanghai. The number of direct flights between the US and China is soon expected to increase from 48 to 70 per week, still well below the numbers before COVID-19 struck. For the longest time, the countries have been getting at each other, and now we see this little step in the right direction. It, it can only be a good sign, and hopefully this leads to better results and maybe better trade, better communication between the two countries. According to the travel app Flightmaster, there were around 300 flights a week between the U.S. and China in 2019. The increase from 48 to 70 follows Foreign Minister Wang Yi's visit to Washington last month and comes ahead of the APEC meeting in San Francisco. The hope is the increase in flights will bring seat prices down too. There's going to be a strong demand, so prices are going to remain high for a little while. But as we normalize, as things get back to that normal and they increase the amount of flights, I would expect to see prices drop. Airlines that are likely to benefit from the new higher limits include Air China, China Eastern, and the big three in the U.S., United, Delta, and America. It's good for the country's economies, trade, and personnel visits, but perhaps most important of all, more chances for families to be reunited. And how is my friend getting on? Well, according to this app, the plane is at 30,000 feet north of New York, heading for the border with Canada and well on the way to Shanghai. And by the time you see this, they'll be there. John Terrett, CGTN, New York.